My name is Pierre van der Wald, my passion firearms. I've been asked by Wildland magazine to do a short review on the Marlin 336 stainless steel 3030 lever action carbine. Lever actions are not as popular in South Africa as they are in the United States, where since 1837 they have been the go-to firearm for the American cowboy, the American law enforcement officer and the American crook. In South Africa we tend to treat it as toys, maybe because of our in cowboys and Indian days as youngsters, but we should actually take these firearms seriously. They are good guns, they shoot well and they are quite sturdy. Lever actions have proved themselves in the South African hunting fields. Lots of lion and buffalo have been hunted with, um, with them by friends of mine such as Dani van Graan and the late Moritz Kutsia, one of South Africa's great firearms characters. The 336 lever action stainless steel version that we're looking at here today is a typical cowboy version of the lever action. It has a loading port on the right which in which you can insert six cartridges. In this case two types of cartridges, the, three, the 3030 Winchester and the .35 Remington being the cartridges for which it's chambered. Whereas the old lever actions had an ejection port on the top, Marlin who was established in 1870 has moved the ejection port to the right which enables them to have a flat top on which telescopes can be installed and which differentiates the modern lever action from the original versions. The rifle itself is cycled by using the lever which is at the top. It will feed a cartridge from the magazine into the um, barrel and from there it will eject it at the same time. As you can see the lever also cocks the hammer which then impacts on a floating firing pin to discharge the rifle. When the lever is open the trigger cannot be pulled because of the disengagement button here at the top. The moment that is closed the firearm can be discharged. When the firearm is loaded and the shooter wants to engage the safety catch he simply presses the button into the right hand side of the receiver. The other side of the cross pin or safety catch will then protrude on the left hand side of the rifle with a little red ring indicating that the firearm is in battery. Should you want to re-engage the safety catch, the pin is simply pushed back towards the original position. In that position the trigger can be pulled but the hammer will not fall or impact the floating firing pin. On modern lever actions in the cow uh, designed in the cowboy style with a telescope installed the hammer is directly under this, the ocular bell of the telescope. That is very difficult to reach. For that reason the uh, hammer extensions or offset hammer extensions have been created which, is, which are mounted on the hammer that enables the shooter to reach the hammer with great ease. The Marlin 336 lever action has a two piece butt or stock, the butt end and the forend made of American black walnut. The forend is held in place by a barrel band as well as a lip that engages the action. The butt itself is held in position by a screw that inserts from the rear of the butt and screws into the rear of the action. The tubular magazine lying under the barrel is also supported by a barrel band at the front and the firearm is equipped with traditional American style sights, the so-called buckhorn at the rear and a bead sight at the front. Although some lever actions are made from sheet metal, the Marlin 336 is machined from a solid casting, make it one of the best lever actions on the market today. Features that I like about lever actions is that they are largely ambidextrous. It is very easy for a person being either right or left handed to operate these rifles or to use them from different shooting positions offered in the field right or left handed. They are also excellent rifles for kids and women to start with because they are fairly light. This particular one 7 pounds unloaded and the recoil is not massive. Insofar as lever actions go, I believe the Marlin 336 is one of the best on the market and if the cowboy type firearm tickles your fancy, this is the gun to consider. Mm -hmm.